Okay, I'm going to talk about field of feelings and also talk about field of feelings in relationship to trauma and also in relationship to a few other things as well. I often get people who, do, who talk to me about things like dissociation and also feeling like they're frozen or they can't access their feelings or their, their emotions. And um, here's the thing. So field of feelings is a bit of a misleading thing. It's actually, uh, the reason why the title Field of Feelings is misleading is because it, it believes, it connotates that there's a feeler <coughs> that's feeling the feelings. And actually, when you stop labelling, when you stop labelling, letting your ego make a story about things or label things, um, then actually there is no feeler there. The idea of a separated person uh, feeling something dissipates if you don't make a story, don't even identify with the thought around it, um, then actually just it is just the experiencing of what is. And uh, with the experiencing of what is, now here's the thing, if there's something like dissociation or a feeling of numbness or frozenness that's not allowing things to be experienced on a more visceral emotional level, then that is a form that can also be experienced out. So how is like dissociation experienced? So it would be like not going into your thoughts to make a story, so detach from any thoughts that arise. And there's an experience of dissociation, so it would just be being with the dissociation and almost welcoming the dissociation. And as you're welcoming and allowing it and letting it be, it'll start to dissolve. The dissociation will start to dissolve, or if there's numbness there, or frozenness there, you just allow the experiencing of numbness or frozenness to be fully experienced. And if you go into thoughts, detach from the thoughts and just go back to being, experiencing the numbness. And you can actually feel these, these are more like subtle fields of consciousness. You can actually experience out dissociation or numbness or frozenness. And then the next layer uh, of, of uh, energetic vibration will arise. The thing to realize with, the, with uh, feel the feelings or just allowing things to be and just welcoming everything to come up is that the habitual uh, mode of most people who are living on the planet is to resist, is to resist. And people resist by thinking. When you're going into thoughts and stories, you're resisting the now. You're resisting experiencing what is right now. So don't... As soon as you go into a story, detach from those, uh, those thoughts and just allow the experiencing of whatever energies or vibrations are here to be experienced. If there's a subtle feel like dissociation or numbness, just let go of your thinking or detach from thoughts as they arise and just experience that numbness or dissociation and, and just be assured that if you're with that, that experiencing of that subtle field of experiencing, it'll start to dissolve and the next layer will come up. So, if there, uh, but for those who are more experiencing, they might be feeling like, like a knot in the stomach or tension in the shoulders or, or whatever, or, or feelings around the eyes. Just allow allow oneself to experience those things, experience those things.